There's a lake in northern Tanzania that looks ordinary from afar, but locals say it has a terrifying secret. Anything that touches it turns into stone. This is Lake Natron, a blood-red body of water so caustic, so chemically extreme, that birds, bats, and even larger animals that fall into it are found preserved like statues. Not decomposed, not eaten by predators, but frozen in time. Almost like nature's own petrification chamber. But here's the part that truly unsettles scientists. The animals don't just die. They dry into perfect eerie sculptures. Wings outstretched, eyes open, feathers intact, like they were instantly flash frozen in fear. Some photographers who visited said the creatures looked too perfect, like cursed artworks placed deliberately around the shores. But they were real, every single one. The lake reaches temperatures of 60 degrees to 140 degrees, and the pH level can rise to 10.5, the same as ammonia. That means the water can literally burn skin. And the red color? It comes from salt-loving microorganisms that thrive in conditions where most life instantly fails. But here's the mystery. Despite being a natural death trap, there's one species that survives, even thrives, inside this living chemical nightmare. Flamingos. Thousands of them. They use the lake as a safe breeding ground because almost no predator dares to enter. The same lake that turns other animals to stone protects them. How? Scientists still don't fully understand how their skin and legs withstand such extreme water. Some believe the flamingos evolved unique resistance over thousands of years. Others think they simply avoid the hottest, deadliest areas. But no one knows for sure. Even stranger, some locals claim the lake chooses what to preserve. They say travelers who wander too close sometimes hear strange crackling sounds like something beneath the surface is alive, waiting. And the animals found on its shores? They're not scattered the way you'd expect from normal deaths. They're arranged post, almost as if the lake itself is displaying them. So tell me, what kind of place can kill, preserve, and display life like artwork while protecting another species as if it holds a secret pact with them? Is Lake Natron just a natural anomaly? or something much, much older than science is willing to admit? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mysteries.